What I want to do in this lesson is to cover driveways. Driveways you will find typically under the terrain module. So just go to your terrain module up the top and you'll then basically get this uh, button that's called paths. If I right click and edit one of the paths you'll notice you can have a, a general concrete or masonry type path. Give it a thickness and a width and whether it's going to hug the terrain or not. So naturally thinking about that when you're going to have slopes you want this going up the slope or whether you want to cut it into the ground etc. This is a good way of putting in straight paths or driveways so don't sort of um, believe it's uh, the incorrect way of doing it but I want to show you how they do it as in CADsoft and the program using paths and then I'll show you how I do it to achieve curved driveways etc. So with this particular path all I'm going to do is go to the front garage pick the middle point of the door and then just drag it out right click and finish and then go and grab a meter path and then sort of touch the driveway it doesn't snap to it and then sort of come up to our entry area there and finish that. So naturally with this path I can grab it and I can move it sideways or back to back and front and all those sorts of things to get it a bit more accurate if I want to do that. It doesn't really matter that much. So now if I have a look at that from the camera that I've got in there called front you'll see there's my driveway and my path going up to the front door. Now that's fine if it's a um, a straight path. Also if you've got a street coming down the front how do you show your street? Well let me just erase those paths and I'll show you what I do. Basically under my locations I've got a location called SiteWorks. I've got it sitting on a um, zero the same as the terrain so I might just move that up to say 70 or whatever so that when I do the concrete it's going to sit above the terrain a little bit and I might, might make the walls 150 so I do 150 in all of these here because what I'm going to do is put in a curb and I'm going to have that curb sitting at 150. The tick is there to set it as current so now the ground floor down here when I hit OK will change to site works. It leaves everything there. So now my driveways I build up out of um, floors and I shape them with walls. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go to walls, right click, collapse, down here under site works I've got a 150 wide concrete curb. So now I'll just draw a line down here that represents, I might take the ortho off and sort of take it out on an angle. Okay, let me sort of bring it down to there and then bring it across, up and then back to finish off. I might just bring in my walls, my fencing a little bit, probably a bit too far out. Now that gives me the shape of the road. So what I do here now is I use floor by room and under site works here I've got a bitumen road. So I just pick a point and that goes and puts the road in have a look at that in 3D in a moment. So now to get my paths in I do exactly the same trick. I'll go to walls, I'll just use that, could be any wall you want to do and then basically I'll come in here and pick the floor, the, um, the walls in the shape how I want to shape my driveway. So that's a rough shape but now I can grab each wall and curve it. So I want to curve that. That one looks alright. I can curve that a bit too. So it's a bit curvier. And this one here, I might curve that in. But the idea you're getting here is that you can shape walls anything you, any way you like. Now, same trick, floor by room. I want concrete drives and paths pick a point in there, right click and finish. Now I can grab that wall and then just delete the walls because I don't want them and that leaves me with the driveway running into the curb. Now if I go and have a look in that front camera view, now you can see my road, the curb and the curved driveway 
running up to the house. I think you'll find if you remember the wall lesson that I do say walls are everything in this program and it will you you can use it for many many purposes. Okay, so that's the way I do my driveways using walls and then floors by rooms to fill the shape. Thank you very much.